Thank you. <clears throat> I did my signature move before you introduced me. I pulled the microphone down. I always have to do that. I, I can barely see over this thing. Uh, thank you all for, for having us. And as I've told Miss Rita many times, uh, I'm also the athletic director. You didn't introduce me earlier when you introduced all the ADs that were here either. Hurt my feelings. Um, but we're, we're just glad to be here. Uh, we, we were, as Sean mentioned a little while ago, independent for a long time. And uh, it, it's, uh, it is very difficult, uh, very difficult landscape, very challenging uh, to be an independent, uh, especially at the Division Three level. So thankful for the association we have uh, with the USA South, and uh, we're certainly trying to do our best to, uh, to be a, a valued member uh, of the league in every way. Um, obviously, we'd like to, uh, you know, when you go last, all the good coach speak stuff's already been said, okay? So you're going to get meat and potatoes from me for the most part. i uh, got to thank my president, uh, Mr. West, uh, my vice president, Jay Dorman, uh, both of those guys, uh, the leadership that they provide and the, the support that they give us as coaches, uh, not just in my sport but in all sports, uh, truly makes a difference. Uh, Wesley Lyle, our sports information director, is here. That's him sitting over there under the pretty picture. And uh, he does a fantastic job for, for us uh, in every way. Uh, we, we probably, every, every coach up here probably has had changes in their staff uh, over, the, over the last course of the last year, and that, that's pretty common. Uh, I don't think, uh, this is my 12th year as, as, as the coach at Huntington, and I don't think I've had the same staff two years in a row in any of those 12. Uh, that, it's a challenge that we all face. Uh, we've had some changes, not, not a lot, thankfully. Uh, so we, we, our, our core of coaches is pretty much still around. Um, you know, we lost some good players. Every college football team, every high school football team, every, even NFL team, every team loses some of your best players every year. Um, we try to talk about basically it's not what we lost, it's what we have coming back. Uh, we lost Zach Brownell. Zach Brownell was the defensive player of the year in our league. Uh, he was a tremendous football player. He was fun to watch, man. I enjoyed watching him uh, from my spot on the sideline. Uh, he's gone. Uh, I don't, you don't replace a guy like Zach Brownell. Max Reber, same kind of player, you know. Uh, Graham, same kind of guy, uh, even, even, you know, and on down the line with quarterbacks and other good players that, that, have, that have come through our league. It's very difficult to replace one of those guys with somebody. It's not fair to who, who ends up replacing them. Uh, so I don't look at it that way. We've got to find somebody we can win with at the, at the middle linebacker position. And Jeremy Murphy was a corner for us that, that, that was an all-region guy, first team all league, you know, he's uh, second team all American uh, in, the, in the defensive secondary. It's going to be hard to for one guy to replace that guy. So uh, I don't look at it that way. I, we just have to find someone we can line up with and win with. And, uh, and we got, thankfully, guys that we think can move into those, those places. Uh, we also have a lot, we probably have more guys back, more starters back on both sides of the ball. Than, than any year I've been the coach. And, uh, you know, that, while that, that's nice in a lot of ways, it's also unsettling to me in a lot of ways because I know that it doesn't matter what you've done in the past. Uh, what matters is what you're going to do from here on out. And uh, so uh, I don't want there to be a false sense of security there just because we have, we have some guys back. Um, you know, the, our league is – Week in and week out, like most other leagues in the country, uh, you better strap it on. Uh, we have proven, I think, you know, we've been in this league two years. Uh, we have beaten the team that, that was our eventual conference champion both years. The only loss that that team had both years, okay? We're good enough. We've been good enough, but we hadn't earned it. And so we, we, we gave our guys a, a shirt this offseason. That, that said earn it. Um, Coach Goodyear, you know, w was behind that. And, uh, and it, I thought it was fitting because, you know, I, I think every guy on our team knows 
that we've we've had a good enough team or we've had the pieces in place uh, to to have been certainly we were contenders both years, but to have won the league both the years that we've been in it. But we haven't done it yet, and the reason we haven't done it yet is because because we hadn't earned it. Uh, and, and in order to earn it, then you literally have to be a consistent performer week in and week out, and you got to be there. And, uh, you know, there's going to be times in, in our season, just like and other coaches have alluded, alluded to this already, there's going to be times when uh, we may not be at our dead level best one day, but we still have a chance to win, and we got to find a way to do it, even though we don't have our best even though we maybe didn't bring our A game with us that day or, or we got some bad breaks. We still got to find a way to be able to win the game. And, uh, and I think as coaches, that's one of the hardest things about what we do is to get young men to believe that even when some things go against them, that they can still achieve what they set out to. Uh, that's, uh, that's very challenging. We have the same two goals. This year that we've had every year that we've been in the league and, and, and you know, I wasn't able to, to give our team the goal of winning the conference championship uh, before two years ago. Thankfully, we can do that now. Uh, but, but I didn't just challenge them with that two years ago. I challenged them with, with two goals, and I challenged them with the same two every year. And one of them is to win the conference championship, and one of them is to win the sportsmanship trophy at the end of the season. And, uh, and, and I want, I truly do place a lot of value in both of those. Maribel was able to do it two years ago. Maribel won, Maribel's won the sportsmanship uh, trophy two years in a row in football, but two years ago they were the league champion and the sportsmanship trophy winner. And I think that's an awesome achievement. I think that uh, as much as anything uh, signifies or represents what Division Three. Athletics, Division Three football is all about, uh, and uh, and frankly, that's what that's what we're trying to be. So, uh, you know, I'm I'm thankful that uh, that we were picked to to win the league in the poll. Um, I know it doesn't mean anything, as has already been stated, but uh, I do hope they're right. <laughs> Questions. Coach, you're coming into your third season here in, the, in this league. What do you see the strengths this conference has to offer? I tell you, the, the, the one thing that, that I talk about with my defensive coordinator all the time is, is how difficult it is week to week to, to, to be able to plan and have the right guys and have the right scheme because there's, there, you know, you have spread teams. You've got teams that will spread you out and, and dink you around, uh, teams that will spread you out and run the football effectively, teams that will – run on the field and off the field, as my good friend uh, Coach Mummy said. Uh, they throw it all over the lot. Then you got some that are going to line up and bloody your nose uh, every snap and, and make you play as disciplined football as you've ever played by running triple option time in and time, uh, time, and time again. Uh, that, to me, that, that is that it's very difficult to play defense in our league. And uh, we made some, some marked improvement from our first year in the league to our second year in the league on the defensive side, uh, I think we were, one the, we were one of the worst defenses in the league two years ago, and we were one of the best defenses in the league, uh, at least statistically, last year. So um, it's a, it is a difficult week-to-week -week job for those guys and uh, uh, something that I think we have to take very seriously. Thanks, Coach. Thank you, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for